let's talk about ways that you can stay safe when you're going online. First, how do you go online? Do you use a computer? Maybe you have a laptop or a gaming system or a tablet, or maybe you use your parent's cell phone while sitting in line for carpool drop off. Rule number one, if you don't like what you see online, you need to tell a trusted adult. The nice thing about being online is that you can close the app or the website or the browser, even shut down the computer and walk away. Some websites may be fine one day, but get hacked by people who are mean the next day. Many websites have a report button if you see a problem. But how do you know if a website is good or not? Trust your gut. If you're looking around to see if anyone is watching you while you're on that website, you're probably not on a good site. It's kind of like when you get that teacher look in class, you're doing something and your teacher just starts looking at you. You usually know what you're doing wrong without your teacher having to tell you. Let's talk about what not to share when online. What information should you not share when you're online? Some personal information that you shouldn't share include your full name, your email address, where you live, your home address, where you go to school, the location where you're at at that moment, your passwords, and your phone number. A good rule of thumb to think about if you wouldn't shout it in a park, don't post it online. Imagine climbing up to the top of the slide equipment and shouting out, hello, my name is Jane Smith and I'm six years old. First of all, people might wonder what's going on, but secondly, you wouldn't share that information. So again, if you wouldn't shout it in public, don't share it online. Rule number two, when is it okay to share? Ask your parent or guardian. Sometimes a website will ask for your information because it's a login to access the website. A website asking for your username and password is different than a website asking for your personal information. What's the difference between an online only friend and a face to face friend? Here's the best way to think about it. If I walked up to you in a store and I said, I'm a third grader and I go to your school, you would probably back away slowly and think this lady's crazy. She's way older than third grade. But online, if someone said that, you might think, oh, cool, here's a new friend or a new person to follow or a new person following me. Again, think about it in public. If someone started following you, you might get nervous. Or if someone came up to you and said they were an age that they obviously weren't, Again, you'd be nervous. Treat online the same way. Even if someone posts a picture, anyone can find a picture of a younger person and pretend to be that person. And remember, it's your right to keep your personal information private. Be a good digital citizen and not only help keep your own information private, but that of your friends and family. If someone online starts asking for your personal information, Go get a grown-up. Being a good digital citizen means watching out for others, too. And unfortunately, there are people who are known as cyber bullies, which means they're using the internet to be mean. Sometimes you might not even know who they are. So let's talk about good online manners. When you're talking to someone online, use nice language like, how are you? And you can even use emojis. Remember, the person can't always hear your voice. They're just reading your words. And how are you could be said a few different ways. How are you? Or how are you if something sad happened to someone? Sometimes how a person reads your message can depend on how they're feeling that day. For example, if I said, nice shoes, does that mean I like your shoes? Or nice shoes, Ugh, why are you wearing those? An emoji helps get that meaning across. Don't type in all caps. When you type in all caps, it usually means you're yelling. The only time you might want to is if maybe something exciting happened and you're really happy about it. Also, don't spread rumors online. If you're not sure about something, keep it to yourself. If you are ever cyberbullied, 
Don't respond or retaliate. If you respond, it just encourages them to respond back. Online, you might be able to block the bully. Save and print the messages if you need to. Talk to a friend. A friend will always make you feel better. And tell a trusted adult. What's the difference between a bully and a cyberbully? Remember, a cyberbully is someone who is mean online, which means you can shut down your computer, or close the website, or walk away. A bully is someone you see in person, and it might not be as easy to get away from them. Remember, a bully can be someone who might want to have control over you. That's their way of being mean. They may want you to only do what they want, like the game they want, or just hang out with them and no one else. They may tease you and try to get you upset by making a comment. It's kind of like fishing. They throw out the bait and hope you take it. And sometimes I've seen where a bully will say something mean, and then if you say something mean back, they run straight to the teacher and tell on you like they had done nothing wrong. So what happens if you're bullied? What can you do? Well, first of all, you can just walk away. Don't play with someone who's being mean to you. Maybe they'll get the hint and they'll figure out something they need to change about themselves. But some students have asked, what if I walk away and they follow me? What do I do then? Okay, so walk away and walk towards a grown-up. Walk towards a teacher. Walk towards an aide. Walk towards even a bigger kid on the playground. That sometimes can make a difference. Another idea, if you're feeling strong, is compliment the bully. Sometimes bullies don't feel very good about themselves, and if you can compliment them, it makes it harder for them to pick on you. If you're not the one being bullied, but you see it happen, don't just stand by. If you are number three, do something. If you see someone bullying someone else, speak up, get involved, find an adult for help. Maybe you just need to walk up to your friend and invite them to go play a game to get them away from the bully. If you invite that friend to play a game and you start walking away from the bully and the bully follows you, just like before, walk towards a grown-up. I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can deal with bullies and be a good digital citizen.